Hello and welcome to another Q&A uh, creative coding video. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from Michelle. Michelle writes, on helping with P5 development, I'm still beginnery, but is there a way I can contribute to it? I was thinking about contributing to the inline examples might be a way via this page, and there's a link to a particular page that I'll show you in a minute. Are there certain examples which might be a good one to keep in mind as a reference? Okay, so you're asking the question, Let's say the, Michelle is asking a question. I'm going to generalize the question a bit more. I, I like P5. I'm interested in it. How can I contribute? So the first thing that I want to say is that um, there is a wonderful set of video tutorials that are being created by Luisa Pereira. Um, and they are called Looking Inside P5. And you can see there's part one and there's also a part two. She also has both of these tutorials in Spanish. So they're both in English and in Spanish. Now, I would play it for you right now, but you can go, the links will be in this video's description, and you can go and watch them on your own. But what's wonderful about these video tutorials is they kind of explain to you, this is, let's say you want to contribute to P5.js. This is where you will land. This is the GitHub repository page for P5.js github.com slash processing slash p5js. There's all this stuff. There's a source folder and a lib folder and a docs folder and this build task and test. How is this organized? How does it all work? Luisa does a wonderful job of going through all of these things in her tutorial videos. So rather than do that here, I'm gonna refer you to those particular videos. And what I'm gonna do here is show you a bit about how you might, uh, other places and how you might sort of get involved. So one thing is, is, is um, the first thing that you can do is just kind of go and look at some of the wiki pages. So here, um, they, you might look through, there's some tutorials and different things, but there, one thing that I would look at here first is this development wiki. So this development wiki uh, gives you a nice kind of set of ideas and things about what you can do in order to get started getting um, contributing. So you can look through the GitHub issues, there's links to that here. You could think about implementing a new feature. There's lots of stuff here. There's instructions of what you need to do to set up and download it. Some of this stuff might look a little bit intimidating or a little bit scary, but P5.js is a friendly and open place. It doesn't matter what your skill level is. We want you to contribute. We want you to help. So come and give it a try and see where you get stuck. Send me a tweet. Um, post on the processing forums. There's various places where you can uh, where you can get help. I also have a bunch of video tutorials about GitHub that you could take a look at. Now, uh, Michelle had asked, Michelle had pointed out this particular, uh, this particular wiki page, which is called the development checklist. And the development checklist is kind of a checklist. Oh, I wish I had looked at this for my WebGL video earlier. But you can sort of see here are a bunch of things that are kind of in progress or being developed that you can think about contributing to. And one of the things that you can look at that she had noticed here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I'm going to find it more quickly. Is the uh, uh, inline uh, inline exam? Okay, wait, hold on. What am I looking at here? Sorry, reference sketches. Sorry. So these are sketches and things that are for the reference. Now you can see that some of them are not crossed out, meaning they haven't been done yet. ID class. So let's look at how that works, and I'll show you a little bit about how you might do this. So, oh, these aren't links. So, um, so let's say you want to um, create something for the, um, the ID function in P5 DOM. How would you do that? So let's go, and I'm going to show you actually, I'm going to go to P5.js. I'm going to go here to source, and actually I just realized this is all the source for all the stuff that's in the P5.js library itself, and it all gets compiled together into that big P5.js library. But the P5 DOM function, the P5 DOM library is actually different, and it's right here in lib add-ons, add-ons P5 DOM.js. So you can see here is actually all of the source code for P5 DOM.js. Now, I, what I want to do is go back to that development checklist. Ah, uh, it's not showing up. If I, uh, there we go, that's what I wanted it to show up. And let's look back um, under DOM, and we can see that, for example, uh, position is implemented. So right here we can see that position is implemented. So I'm going to look for the position function. Uh, so I can see actually this is the source code for the position function in P5 DOM. So what position does is it takes a DOM element and gives it an absolute position on the page. I don't have my, 
I'm not looking at my chat, and I'm worried that something's not working. OK. So um, now here's the source code for it, but up here is a quick little example. Create a canvas and call canvas.position. And look how this is formatted. It's formatted at example with a div with code class equals no render, because the code isn't rendered, or maybe it should be rendered. I don't know. And then uh, close code tag, close div tag. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to copy paste this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, let's look for the ID function. So I'm going to look for ID equals equals function. <laughs> I got to find it. Oh, you know why it's not here. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Back, I couldn't find the function that I want to edit here in p5dom.js. And actually, what I didn't realize is the function id is a function that assigns a specific id to a dom element. And it's not actually in the p5.dom.js function. I'm uh, sorry, add-on, because it, it comes with core p5. It's actually part of core p5. And for that, I need to go to source. And then um, I'm looking for p5 core p5.element.js. And here it is. So I want to look for id equals, whoops, id equals. And now here's that function. And you'll notice that function does not have an example. So let's just do this right now. We're going to live on YouTube, on the air, make an example, and submit a pull request. <laughs> Am I logged in? Oh, I'm logged in as Shiftman. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to hit Edit, because I have uh, privileges to make changes. So I have to make sure. So now I want to look for ID equals. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to paste that in. Ah, oh, I lost it. So hold on. <laughs> I got to I got to get back to uh, lib add-ons p5 dom, and I'm going to search for uh, what was one that we liked uh, position. Position. Here it is. I got to get this example stuff right here. I'm going to go back here. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to paste this in here. Ooh, so I need to fix this so that the spacing is right. You know, I could be more thoughtful about this. Uh, and then I need to make sure this is closed. So now you can see I've added the code for an example, but this is the code for the position. So what I want to do is do make, give it an ID. And I'll make that ID my canvas. And then what this does is uh, I'll write a con assigns a CSS selector ID to the canvas element. So I don't know if anybody, so this is now adding a quick little example that shows you how you can use the ID function. And then all, oh, there's German going on in the chat now. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I want to create a new branch and start a pull request. So adding an uh, inline example for ID function. And I'm going to write, I'm live on YouTube demonstrating how to make a pull request and add an inline uh, inline. Uh, example. So once I do that, I'm going to click Propose File Change. And there's some guidelines for contributing that I could click at. And I want to see, uh, and I'm going to create this. Uh, this, you can see my change is just in this one p5.element. It adds just this code. And I'm going to say Create Pull Request. And it's going to do some checks to make sure things are OK. And we'll see and on Thursday, this Thursday's coding rainbow, the, uh, there will be a mystery. We'll, we'll discover, was this pull request merged or was it not merged? Stay tuned. To be continued. Oh, I need a sound effect for dun, dun, dun. Um, 
Is that, uh, uh, I, okay, I won't look for that right now. Okay, so again, I kind of went off on a little bit of tangent of showing you a very specific thing, but basically what you, uh, the P5 as an environment is designed to be both something that beginners can use to learn to program and also can learn to contribute to an open source environment. And the place to do that first is GitHub. The problem with GitHub is it doesn't appear that friendly to you. So I would encourage you to check out the wikis in the development page. I would encourage you to tweet at P5XJS on Twitter, to post um, on the processing forum, uh, forum.processing.org, and you can go down to the um, P5JS. Uh, and here, P5JS development questions. If you post to there and are looking for help on how to contribute, post there, send me a tweet so I can look at your post and help answer it. Um, as well as I'd recommend checking out Luisa's videos. And also, something you can just literally do to be a part of the, the contributions is go to the issues page. This is the issues page. Read through some of the issues, scan through them. If there's something that you think should be a feature or something you're not sure about if it works correctly, Contribute, write an issue, file an issue. Do not worry about filing an issue correctly. It, you, incorrectly, you cannot file it incorrectly. The act of filing an issue is the act of filing it correctly. And if there's ways, if you need to close the issue and reopen a new one, all of that is possible and fine. So please come and join and contribute to P5JS. And um, yes, Dramatic Chipmunk, that's the name of the sound effect I'm looking for. Um, and hopefully this video was somewhat useful about a little bit about how you can get started contributing to P5JS. Thanks for watching.